Did you know, Philippine independence was finally realized when the United States officially proclaimed it on July 4, 1946. A new Republican and Democratic government, the Third Republic of the Philippines, was inaugurated with Manuel Rojas as president. Let's proceed to the post-independence under Manuel Rojas' administration, our main topic. The administration of Manuel Rojas saw several developments that indicated the beginning of neocolonialism in the Philippines. It was under his administration that the Bell Trade Act was passed and the 1935 Constitution amended which gave the Americans parity rights and access to Philippine resources and industries. Meanwhile, the military bases agreement also gave the Americans access to military bases throughout the country and allowed them sovereignty within the territory of these bases. One of the greatest challenges to the Rojas government was the spread of socialism and the growth of socialist and communist groups that supported the cause of workers and farmers. A campaign of violence was instigated against these groups and the Rojas administration was accused of attempting to suppress the hooks and their allies. This led to widespread violence in the provinces, particularly in central Luzon. The hooks considered the government as a tool for the vested interests of the elite and the United States.